Hello, Saints. I've only got a short window of time to record this. I want to share this with you all. Uh, I want to talk about the imposter prophecy that Ezekiel prophesied about. Listen, when you read the scriptures from beginning to end, you start to see it's a chronological history as well. So when you read these prophets' writings, you'll understand when they were given this prophecy. This is why I continue to tell people to read them in the order in which they were written and they were given because the word of Yahuwah is given at appointed times. And so when you understand when the prophets got these words from Yahuwah, you'll understand contextually that some of these prophecies have yet to be fulfilled or there may be repeat fulfillment. So what did Ezekiel say about the posters that we're going to see? Because remember, Yahusha gave the word to John in Revelation, that there are going to be those who say they're Yahudim and they are not. There are going to be those staking a claim to that land over there that do not actually belong there. But the whole world is deceived, thinking those are Yah's people. Ezekiel 33, starting in verse 23. Then the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, Son of man, they who inhabit those ruins in the land of Yasharel are saying, Abraham was only one, and he inherited the land. But we are many. Let the land be given to us as a possession. Ezekiel received this prophecy after the twelve tribes had crossed over uh, with Yehusha, son of Nun, into, uh, beyond the Jordan, and were given their inheritance. So this is after the destruction of this land. Yehuah is referring to it as the ruins in the land of Yasharel. The wastes, those who inhabit the wastes or the ruins. So when you understand that that psyop over there is a deception, you're not going to learn this in Christianity. They're going to tell you those are God's people, that's the land of Israel, those are the Yahudim, I have to say that word because the YouTube algorithm could come. Listen, who is saying right now that that land belongs to them because they are the seed of Abraham and that was given to them for an inheritance? They are impostors. This is a prophecy Ezekiel got in uh, chapter 33, verse 24. Son of man, they who inhabit those ruins in the land of Yasharel are saying, Abraham was only one and he inherited the land. And we are many. Let the land be given to us as a possession. Therefore say to them, thus says the Adon Yahuwah, you eat meat with blood and you lift up your eyes towards your idols and shed blood. Should you then possess the land? You depend on your sword and you commit abominations and each of you defiles his neighbor's wife. Should you then possess the land? Say this to them. Thus says the Adon Yahuwah, as I live, those who are in the ruins, so those who are currently there, shall fall by the sword. And the one who was in the open field I shall give to the beast to be devoured. And those who are in the strongholds and caves shall die of the pestilence. And I shall make the land a desert and a waste the arrogance of her strength shall cease, and the mountains of Yasharel shall be a waste with none passing through. And they shall know that I am Yahuwah, when I have made the land a desert and a waste, because of all the abominations which they have done. What's being committed over there right now? Who just recently admitted, the prime minister over there just recently admitted that they were a lab for this company. He admitted that that land over there was a lab for this company. This is abominations that are being committed in the land. You have to understand who's actually living there. These are imposters, okay? There is swift judgment coming for that place. And as for you, son of man, the children of your people are talking about you beside the walls and in the doors of the houses, and they speak to each other, each saying to his brother, please come and hear what the word is that comes from Yahuwah. And they come to you as people do when they sit before you as my people and they hear your words, but they do not do them. For with their mouth they show much love. Their hearts pursue their greedy gain. And see, you are to them as a very lovely song of one who has a pleasant voice and playing well on an instrument. And they hear your words, but they do not do them. And when it comes, see it shall come. Then they shall know that a prophet has been in their midst. And so now you can understand when you read the scriptures in order of when these prophecies were given, that this was given after the 12 tribes had been given their inheritance. 
So you need to understand what's actually happening there. Something else I wanted to talk about, because there are people who still believe that obedience is hard and it's difficult. No, it is not. If you have a spirit of rebellion, then yes, you're going to have a very difficult time obeying the Torah. But if you have the Ruach HaKodesh, it is easy. There is nothing difficult about it. What does he say in the scripture? That these words which he gave are not afar off. These commandments are not afar off and they are not difficult. But you have people who are saying that it's hard to do or nobody can keep them perfectly or it is difficult. What you are doing is making Yahuwah a liar. Because what did he say? These things are not far off. They're not difficult to do. If Yahuwah, who has given salvation in this earth, he's given salvation to his remnant. If he's going to tell somebody, jump, the remnant says, how high do you want me to jump? And where do you want me to jump? Nothing about his Torah is difficult. You are making it difficult. If you refuse to obey because somebody in your life might think that you're weird, you've made that somebody an idol. You need to repent of that. If you've ever said the Torah is too hard, repent of that. If you've ever had a difficult time coming into obedience, know that you've had rebellion in your heart and that's witchcraft and you need to repent of that. Don't make Yahuwah a liar by saying it's difficult to obey because it is not. The remnant desire to obey. They live to obey. There's nothing difficult. How hard is it not to kill someone? Okay? How hard is it to honor your parents, like the scripture says? How hard is it to keep Shabbat? How hard is it not to steal? So why are other aspects of the Torah so hard? They're not. You're making Yahuwah a liar when you say that. You need to repent of that. But read the scriptures. Start digging in and understanding the character and the nature of Yahuwah and the judgment that he's bringing in this earth and the judgment that's coming for a place full of imposters. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. Hope y'all are having a wonderful week.